Hello and welcome back to another video podcast from Podcast School. This video podcast is all about the comparator. So leading on from the last podcast, which was all about the op amp, the comparator is a uh, subsystem which provides an output signal that stays high while the input signal is higher than the reference signal or threshold. Now, what does all that mean? Let's skip right down to the to the, the facts here. Again, this comparator is all based around the op amp. Only this time, what we've said, or what we've called the non-inverting input, we're saying, well, that's just the input. And what we're calling the inverting input, uh, we're calling that the reference. Okay, so consider this graph for a second. Say, for example, we had the reference here at a particular voltage level. Let's say it's there. And we inputted a constant DC voltage at that point, at the non-inverting input. Okay. We know from our equation before that the inverting input will um, and the and the invert and the non-inverting input they are um, compared, and the difference is multiplied by a gain, which is normally very large. We learned that in the last in the last podcast. Okay, so typically it's A, which is very large, times the voltage at the non-inverting input minus the voltage at the inverting input. And that's what it'll be. Now this time, our non-inverting input, well, that's the reference. And our input is the inverting, or sorry, the, the non-inverting. Okay, so let's see what happens. Let's introduce this input signal. Okay. What do you think happens at the output whenever the input uh, rises to become less than the, uh, sorry, to become more than the reference? I think you've got it. Just look. Okay, at the point, uh, at any time when the red line is below the blue line, so I'm looking here, the output is low. It's there, isn't it? It's the same over here. Okay. Again, the red line is below the blue line, so the input is low. But any time that the uh, output, or sorry, the input is more than the reference voltage, then the the output will be high. So I'm looking at this area. Okay. So at this point, it crossed the blue line, and at this point, it's going back under the blue line, and everywhere in between, we have got a high output. Okay, and that's basically it. Uh, so let's have a look at it uh, first of all at this, at this circuit. And I've asked you to explain accurately the operation of the circuit. So from before, well, if we work backwards, we've got a buzzer, we've got a transistor, we have two resistors here, we have a up amp acting as, as a comparator, and whose inputs are joined to. Uh, two sets of L, uh, resistors, respectively. Okay, it just so happens that one resistor here is an LDR, a light-dependent resistor. Now, if we take the non-inverting input, well, what what is that? You should be able to recognize just those two together in that configuration with its output there. Of course, that's a, um, that's a potential divider. And we've got the same over here. So really what we have are two potential dividers connected to the inputs of the of the comparator. Now, R1 and R2 are constant. VR1 is a variable resistor, but if it's set at a, a position and not moved, then we can consider it constant as well. So we're not, our, inver sorry, our inverting input will be constant, okay, given by the potential divider equation the uh, non-inverting input though won't be constant because of the LDR and it will move. Okay, so you should be able to think about what's going to happen after that. I summarized it in the next slide. Okay, I've said in this circuit the op amp is being used as a comparator. The voltage at pins 2 and 3 are being compared. Pin 2 has been set as a reference voltage, saw that. 
The potential divider compromising of the LDR and variable resistor is creating the input voltage. When the voltage at pin 3 rises to become larger than that at pin 2, and the output, pin 6, becomes just less than VCC. In other words, it's been the, the difference has been multiplied by that huge number A. But the largest voltage available in this circuit is in fact the supply voltage, VCC, which everything is connected up to. Okay. So that's what we're, why we're saying just less than uh, VCC, and there's VCC. And then, just to round it all off, the voltage at the base is more than 0.6 volts, turning on uh, transistor 1, sounding the buzzer. Okay. In other words, um, if you think about it, whenever the light level at uh, the, on the LDR decreases, Okay, then the resistance um, will also decrease. Remember, big, dark, cold. So, big in the uh, big in the dark. So this is going to be big in the dark. Okay, if this resistance here is big, then the voltage drop across here will also be big. So this point will be at a low voltage. However, if the volt if the light level is high, then hold on, big, dark, cold. So in the dark. It's, or sorry, in the light, it's going to be low. So it's going to be a low resistance here. So relatively a small amount of voltage drop across it. So this point will remain relatively high. Okay. Now, when that happens, obviously, whenever it's high here, the uh, non-inverting input, it'll be greater than the inverting input. And we'll have that high output signal. And that's when the buzzer or the transistor will turn on and the buzzer will buzz. In other words, this could be used as an alarm circuit. When the light falls on the LDR, its resistance goes down. The voltage at this point goes up. And therefore, the uh, because of the gain, the high gain, we get the digital output and our transistor will turn on, turning on the buzzer. Okay. Um. Another short-ish podcast, I reckon we're about eight and a half minutes. Uh, the um, op-amp acting as a comparator really is just the, the start of our look at op-amps. Okay, and as I said in the last podcast, we're going to be looking at it more in terms of its amplification um, properties uh, later on. So really, this is just the start of it. If you understand this, then you're well on the way to fully understanding the op-amp. But that's it for now. Until next time, um, bye-bye. Remember, you can always email me at info at podcast school. Uh, and again, go to the site and pick up the notes. So anyway, that's it for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>